Hi Aries, welcome to the reading for the quick and fast reading for you. I'm trying to get this reading out to make it just faster and quicker than what I had before. So let's see what's coming up in the energies, Aries. Fast and quick reading, we just want this, you know, we just want, <laughs> there's very important news coming to you today. So let's see, Air, angels, spirits, guides, please show us for Aries. Show us a quick message for the reading for today. What do they need to see? An Empress energy. Something's being worked out for you to elevate you higher. Three of coin. So it's being worked out to improve things. And here you are, the main energy is the Empress, the goddess of abundance. You could be dealing with a matriarch, a mom, a mother figure. Here we have justice, wow. Fire sign. Okay, so there could be something being made fair. There's a king of the earth, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo in the cross. The root of the issue is that this has not been discussed or talked about. It could be painful to discuss or talk about. You've had no communication or there's been a break in communication. The Ten of Cups. This could be in a family, long-term relationship. Um, past energy is the High Priestess here. We have secrets, knowing something, psychic energy. We have the judgment card. We have a resurrection, renewal, revival. Someone is going, you're going through a calling. This is your calling. We have the sun card, happiness, joy, success, positive energy. You'll be very happy. There is temperance around you, patience, tolerance, go with the flow type of energy. Okay, so your energy here is king of wands. You want to be a leader or in some kind of masculine or you want some fire. And bottom of the deck, we do have the hero's march, the hero's victory. So there's a water sign feminine, a two of cups, partnerships, alliances based on memories. So what is this outcome here for Aries today? What do they need to see? Six of Cups and Emperor. There's a history here or memories you have. There is an Emperor, a father figure, or you owning your power, taking your power back. So we have an Emperor and an Empress. Your energy is the sun, being very optimistic and positive. The light is shining on something very important being given to you that sets you free. It is a fair and just decision. The Knight of Water. Somebody's coming in with these feelings or an apology. So we have justice, major arcana for something being made fair. We have the fool, a new launch, a new beginning. Ace of cups, powerful new emotions. Ace of coin, a new opportunity for something real and meaningful. And we have the hermit, inner discovery, being wisdom being shared. Okay, Hermit is Virgo or Wisdom being shared. So what is your energy as the sun? What is Aries as the sun? Pentacle energy. Something about money, opportunities, investments of time into something, payoffs, this, uh, wow, letting go of something toxic. We have the star card and the devil. You're letting go and healing from some kind of toxic situation. The queen of air. Somebody could be giving you advice or information. Confusion. Again. So your energy consistently between the long extended reading and this reading is that you're looking at whether it's practical. Whether it will be in your best interests over long periods of time, um, whether you can afford it, um, what else, whether you've, you can see yourself in the long term, 
doing something. So you're making like long-term cautious decisions. Um, even though there seems to be something around that's like it has to be done right now. So what do we have here for Aries? Show us one more time. The world card, a great accomplishment and five of pentacles. The challenge is there's either not enough or you feel left out in the cold. The nine of wands, you put in a lot of work or you're very persistent. You don't want to give up. There is a queen of the earth, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo feminine on your mind here. Or it's something where you value money or you value you value something that you have, maybe a home, a property, a job. In the most recent past, there's a tower of some kind, a shock or a surprise. There's get somebody's getting attention, six of wands, and then here you are, seven of wands, defending your position, feeling like you have to defend yourself. Oh, there it is again, your energy, seven of pentacles, looking at the real value of something, looking at the cost. And six of cups, that's being affected by the past, the memories of the past. Okay, the person around you is in the seven of cups. They don't know what to do or choose. Uh, three of pentacles and eight of pentacles. So something's being worked out here. Why is somebody so confused? Maybe they, and they're also very tolerant. They're confused and weighing how they feel and then confused and weighing how they feel. There's like another person here, a two of cups, a partnership, a friend, um, somebody who's wanting to be with that person. Here we have eight of cups and star walking away from that situation, leaving it behind healing and letting go and now something's being worked out and you're looking at the value is it worth it can i afford it um what have i invested three of wands you're making up your mind following your intuition or you have intuition about why somebody is distracted what's this outcome about three of pentacles what's this outcome about three of pentacles a King of Wands and Six of Cups. You have history with someone, so you're working it out. And the lovers, okay. So there could be a person here, you're working it out with them. You have a history. You have memories, fond memories. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords. Somebody acts like they don't care. They could fly off the handle and get mad. The Fool, wanting to be free of this energy. The Chariot, wanting to go forward and determined to go forward. There's the Ten of Pentacles, invested quite a bit into something. Long-term job situations, property, real estate, large purchases, and the judgment here. Somebody wants to go forward and go ahead. Somebody's very upset, Nine of Swords. I thought this was the person around you. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, they're carrying around a broken heart. Two of Pentacles, they have a choice. They're carrying along around a lot of pressure. Under the deck here is a Nine of Cups. Like, you will feel very happy and satisfied somehow. Oh, because Justice is coming in. And the Hangman could be something you've been waiting for in the courts. Or you have to look at it from a different point of view. Somebody comes in with a Knight of Cups, maybe an apology. We have justice and nine of cups. You feel like this is fair. You feel like this is a fair and just decision. Okay, show us here for Aries, the Hierophant. Three of Wands, waiting for a decision from a higher authority. Making up your mind on a marriage, Ten of Swords, a lot of pain, painful endings. Seven of Pentacles again, looking at the value, looking at the cost. 
Ace of Swords getting the truth on the wheel of fortune turning. There's a better offer coming for you or some kind of golden opportunity. The moon card is hidden and the devil. Oh, wow. Somebody's got hidden addictions or hidden. The person you're dealing with has got like hidden, hidden vices. Ace of Cups, feeling very strong, powerful feelings about this. The Two of Cups, working something out. And the King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King, somebody with very deep emotions coming forward. And the Empress. What does this help come about? The Lover's Card. Unity and Reconciliation. And a Ten of Cups. So some of you are coming into a relationship. The Fool and the Page of Pentacles. It could be a new relationship for some. And the bottom of the deck. We have a Nine of Cups. Your wish coming true. Personal wish or personal satisfaction in a situation. Okay. Well, I mean, for you Aries, we are going into the North Node. Zero degrees conjunct the uh, Mars. So there could be something where you feel it's your destiny. Um, you feel like it's your life purpose. But good news is you have this practical earth element energy influencing your day. Probably the Taurus moon. So it's if, if you feel very strongly about something, Taurus is about the finer things in life, the things that bring us pleasure, the qualities that make us feel appreciated. It's the Empress card. So the moon is very intense, powerful emotions connected to wanting to be appreciated, valued. Um, I don't see you being not valued. I do see somebody confused. There's someone who carries a lot of weight on them and also a lot of um, confused feelings, not really knowing how they feel, um, feeling like they have obligations to someone else and also to you. So sharing that obligation, which is like work, home, friends, like this person has shared obligations. They are going through some kind of like heartbreak over something. Um, and it, it does sort of end up in a nice place with the lovers, the two of cups, the fool, the woman holding a heart. So there could be something about love. Number 44. The messenger throat chakra activation of Gabriel. The journey. Some of you could be traveling or thinking about traveling. It's all tied up. Something's preventing you. You're thinking it over with the thinking woman. Or you're getting advice from someone. The angel of love shining down here. Being patient. And connecting to your crown chakra energy. Crown chakra is through meditation. It's this chakra above your head. It's usually symbolic of this light purple color. Um, and uh, behind it is deceit. But indecision. What else do we have for Aries? Indecision, but feeling appreciated. Okay. The sun card. Door to personal healing and happiness in the sun. I feel like there's something that is being dragged out or drawn out. Like, it's like this situation just needs to wrap up. Um, you need to, I don't know. P Pentacle energy is slow and long. This is not turning out a lot shorter. What else do we have for Aries? I feel you're leaving me behind. 
You were the best thing in my life. I'm afraid to contact you. I lost myself for a little while. It's time for me to heal now. The timing just wasn't right for us. I wish I could take back my words. Okay, that could be an Aries Gemini. If you have Gemini in your chart, you could just say things sometimes and go, why did I say that? I didn't even mean that. It just came flying out. Like, I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> sometimes it's like things just get said and you don't even know why. It's like, why did I say that? I don't even mean that. But that's your quick reading, Aries. It's not that quick, but I wish you the best. Take care.